Welcome back to the Challenge Bowl, where our score here is Milliken 40, Lakewood 25. Now, before we get on to round three questions, each of which will be worth 10 points, we have some new players with us. So let's meet our new players. Team Captain Margaret, why don't you introduce us to your new players here on the Lakewood team? Okay, to my right is Greg Johnston, and to his right is Paula Tokar. Greg and Paula, welcome. All right. And on my left again here is Pat, and we have the Milliken team with some one new player. Introduce us to her, please. Okay, this is Shara Smith. Shara? Hello. All right. Some new blood, some new players. Let's go. These questions are worth 10 points each. Authors of textbooks on American government tend to give a great deal of attention to the legislative branch of the government. These questions will deal with that branch. Worth 10 points. Question number one. Your hands on your buzzers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, just check. Congress has the power to do a great many things. On the other hand, Congress has only those powers delegate, delegated to it by what authority or document? Constitution. The Constitution. Okay. 50 to 25. Congress has the power to tax, to borrow, to declare war, to regulate commerce, to coin money. These powers are delegated to Congress where in the Constitution? Uh, Article 1. Article 1, Section 8. The first term of Congress began on March 4th, 1789. Each subsequent term is numbered consecutively. How long is each term of Congress? Margaret. Two years. Two years. Two years, 60 to 35, 10 points each. There are two regular sessions to each term of Congress, one each year. Who is empowered by the Constitution to call a the president to call a special session of Congress the president? <laughs> 60 to 45. It's been close the whole game. The Constitution in Article 1 provides for the length of term for members of the House of Representatives. How long? Are Margaret. Two years. Two years. 60 to 55. All right. It is customary for the members of the House of Representatives to be seated in the House of Chambers on the basis of political party. On which side of the center aisle do the Democrats take? Could that be the left side? No, I'm sorry. Right side? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that answer, Greg? You just pulled it out and so can't be left. Right. All right. 65-60. Lakewood has taken the lead, but they're only five points down. Given a House of Representatives in which the Republicans are the majority party, which party is most likely to select the officers of the House? Oh. Margaret. The Republicans. The Republicans. <laughs> right. Mini run here. Although thousands of bills are introduced during a term of Congress, the Constitution states that all bills for the raising of revenue must originate in which body of Congress? Pat. Uh, the House. The House of Representatives. That's right. 7570. It's going to go right down to the wire. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> All major appointments made by the President are referred to the appropriate Senate. The Senate. <laughs> How did you know that? I didn't even get anywhere near giving any kind of information. But for those of us slower people, I'm going to finish it because I want to find out what it asks. To the appropriate standing committee of the legislative branch. Such appointments must be approved by a majority vote of which House of Congress, and he said the Senate, and he was right. 8570, state legislatures are responsible for the drawing of the congressional districts within each state. District lines have often been drawn. Gerrymandering? Yes, yes. District lines have often been drawn to the advantage of the political party in power. What is this practice called? Gerrymandering as the beaver. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we have some Long Beach questions. These are worth 10 points each. The Long Beach Harbor has played a significant part in the development of Long Beach and the surrounding area. Question one. The year 1910 saw the launching of the General Hubbard, the first steamship built in Southern California. What is the name of the construction firm? Oh, and time's up. Craig Shipbuilding Company. Or the Bixby Wilmore <laughs> Company. <laughs> the Long Beach Naval Shipyard has a special attraction of its own. It has the second largest crane of its type in the world. Herman the German. Hoyman de Joyman, that's right. That's right. 95 to 80. 
To what feature of the harbor does the name Queen's Gate refer? Gregory. Queen Mary? No. Anyone over here? Sh Shara? St. Thomas Bridge? No, it's the entrance to the Long Beach Harbor. Prior to the 1920s, the beaches of the city were awash with breakers that pounded the shoreline. What development occurred to break the force? Yes. Breakwater. Construction of the breakwater, 95 to 90. On April 21st, first, <laughs> on April 21st, on April 21st, 1930, a major automobile manufacturer began production at its Greg, Ford. The Ford Motor Company at its plant on the Cerritos Channel. That's it for round three. Our score is Lakewood 105, Milliken 90. Close, close game. Right, the score is 105 to 90. Before we go on to round four, let's take a look at the setup of this Centennial Challenge Bowl. Now, if you look here on the screen, here it comes. It was set up uh, in first round pairings, which were drawn from a hat, as we described last week. There you see last week's game, Jordan versus St. Anthony, Wilson, which drew a first round bye. Tonight's game, Lakewood Milliken and Pauly, which drew a bye. St. Anthony won last week, so next week's game will feature St. Anthony versus Wilson. The winner of tonight's game will move on to week number four and play Pauly. Then the winners of those two games will meet in week number five to determine the winner's round champion. Now remember, this is a double elimination tournament. So teams which lose once go into our elimination round, and starting in week six, we'll have that round played out to determine the elimination round champion. Then... The elimination round champion will play the winner's round champion in the grand final to determine the winner of the trip to Washington, D.C. Remember, next week's game, St. Anthony versus Wilson. All these games can be seen at 7.30 in Long Beach on Channel 32 and in Lakewood on Channel 44. Be there. All right, let's go on to round four with the score 105 to 90. The federal judiciary has played a major role in the building of the American constitutional system. These questions will deal with the judiciary. All points are worth 10. Conflicts arise between national and state laws. Which branch of the national government is the um Judicial. The judicial branch is the umpire in its role in settling such disputes. The Supreme Court, the judicial branch. The framers of the Constitution created the national judiciary to meet a weakness in the government set up by the Articles of Confederation. They did so in a single sentence found where in the Constitution? Yeah. Margaret. Article 3. Article 3. <laughs> Score 10 for them, 125 to 90. The Constitution created the Supreme Court and indicated that the other federal court may be ordained and established by which, uh, Margaret? The state legislators? No, incorrect. The federal court may be ordained and established by which branch of the national government? The executive. No, it's the legislative branch, Congress. There are two answers to this question. The question's worth 10 points. Make sure you know both answers before you buzz in. There are federal courts which have jurisdiction as trial courts and others having appellate jurisdiction. Name these federal courts. Gregory. U.S. District Courts and Appellate Courts. No, that was incorrect. The U.S. Di District Courts and the Court of Appeal. Court of Appeal. Yes. Okay. 125 to 100. The Constitution does not provide for a judicial review by the federal courts. In what landmark case of Pat? Marbury versus Madison. Yes. In what landmark case of 1803 did the Supreme Court establish the power of judicial review? 125 to 110. Clutch answer. The Constitution created the judicial office of the head of the Supreme Court. What title is given? Shara. Chief Justice. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. 125, 120. The Constitution created the Supreme Court of the United States. The number of associate justices is determined by which branch? Gregory. Legislative. Congress. Legislative branch. That's correct. Congress. That was just a, uh, a worker here with indigestion. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Recall that the Supreme Court of the United States is made up of nine justices. 
if all nine justices take part in hearing a case, what is the minimum number who must agree in deciding the case? Pat. Would that be five? Five. Five. They would constitute then a majority of the nine. In July 1981, President Reagan appointed the first woman, Gregory. Sandra Day O'Connor. First woman on the Supreme Court, Sandra Day O'Connor. 145 to 130. The Constitution states that the judges, both of the Supreme and Inferior Courts, shall hold their offices during... Gregory. Life. Life. <laughs> that would be life, Dan. Yes, name the favorite cereal of Supreme Court justices. <laughs> All right, it's time for our final Long Beach question, all worth 10 points. 155 to 130, it's up for grabs, folks. Our last questions on Long Beach, including some additional pictures, are taken from a variety of topics. This is a visual question, so you teens now watch the monitors. What major... The plunge. The plunge. What major attraction on the pike is depicted in this picture? That's right, the bathhouse or the plunge. During the days of Wilmore City and the early years of Long Beach, American Avenue was to be the North-South Showcase Street. What is the original American Avenue called today? Pat. Broadway? No. Any guess? Liquid? Pine? No. It's Long Beach Boulevard. Another visual question. Watch your monitors. Ten points. Name this picture. Yes. Is that the Breakers Hotel? No, it's not. Name this pictured beachfront landmark constructed in 1929. Gregory. Virginia Hotel? No, it's the Via Riviera. But of course, <laughs> so silly of us not to have gotten that. Back. This sidewalk clock on uh, East... Yes. The earthquake of 1933. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It stopped at 5.54 p.m. on March 10, 1933. What caused it? The Long Beach earthquake. The first electrically operated traffic signal was installed in Long Beach in 1927. Where is it located? Pat. Is that Broadway and Pine? It's at Broadway and Pine. Good answer. Oh, that's it. That's the end of round four. What's our final score? Put it up on the monitor, please, so I can see that final score. It is Lakewood 165, yeah. Milliken 150. What a close game. It's so damn. Very close. All right, Lakewood 165, Milliken 150. Incredible game, incredible game. Nip and tuck the whole way through, don't worry. You go into the elimination round, you can still have a chance to win that round trip to Washington, D.C. and the experience you got tonight, why it'll help you all through your life. So congratulations on a good game and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Over here now to our winners, Lakewood. What a game, they gave you a tough, give them a hand. Didn't they give you a tough, unbelievable. We'll see you in week four versus Polly. so go home, brush up on those questions. Remember, all these games can be seen at 7.30 on Long Beach Channel 32, Lakewood Channel 44. We want to thank some people. We want to thank all of the students, all the contestants, all the high schools for training the students, and everyone here at Long Beach City College for the fine job they're doing on this show. And we want to thank you for tuning in at 7.30 on Long Beach Channel 32, Lakewood Channel 44. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.